Hey everyone, in the last video we were talking about the skeletal formula and we saw how the skeletal formula could be used to write the structural formula. We saw that the functional groups should be written completely and that the other carbons and hydrogens of the main alkane chain should not be written, we don't write them. Now let's pick some examples from the past paper questions to see what those skeletal formula mean. Let's pick examples from here. It's a question from the past paper. We are not solving it. We are just looking at the structural formula. You can see there's an OH here. So it means this is not a carbon. The carbon starts from here. This is carbon number one. Let me zoom in. Then you can see there's another carbon number two, a carbon three and a carbon four. So technically there, are, technically there are four carbons. Let's write them. One, two, three, four. These are carbons. One, two, three, four. You can see that on carbon one there's an OH group. On carbon one there's a double bonded oxygen. On carbon number two there's another OH. Carbon three has another OH. Carbon 4 has also OH plus it has a double bonded oxygen. What you should notice is that carbon number 2 and 3 also have one more hydrogen each because their bonds were not completed. And by the way, this is the longest chain of this structure. This is a four carbon chain and these, the blue ones are the functional groups or you can call them non-carbon atoms. Let's pick one more example. You can see this structure I'm zooming in. You can see that here we got carbon number one, carbon number two, then there's a three, four, five, six, there's a carbon seven, carbon eight, carbon nine, and carbon 10. Let's draw it more carefully to complete this structure. I want you to understand how skeletal formula are actually written as structural ones. So carbon one, then two, three, four at the bottom, then fifth carbon, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth on left, tenth on the right side. I'm numbering them. Carbon one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can notice there's a double bond between carbon two and three, so there's a double bond here. Carbon number seven has an OH group coming out and actually everything else is a hydrogen. So there's a hydrogen on carbon one, three hydrogens. Carbon number two has already made four bonds, so nothing over here. Carbon three already has made four bonds. Carbon four has two more hydrogens because two bonds are done. You can see there are two bonds of carbon four. The other shoe should be hydrogen. Carbon number five also has two hydrogens. Carbon six also has two hydrogens. Carbon seven has all the other bonds complete, so there's no hydrogen. Carbon eight has one more hydrogen. Carbon nine has H3, carbon 10 is H3. This is the whole structure. Let me pick a yellow pen. This is your main carbon chain like this, including the double bond. This is your main carbon chain with all the hydrogens and carbons. Let's pick this structure. You can see that there is carbon one, two, three, four. This is also a carbon, but it's a branch. Let's draw it. Carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four. Carbon number one has nothing, so it's H3. Carbon number two has OH at the bottom. Carbon number three has nothing, so H2. Carbon number four has a double bonded oxygen and one more OH at the bottom. So, but we can notice that carbon number two also has a branch coming on top. So a carbon branch is always H3. So this is your main structure. This is your longest chain like this. Over here, this is a chain. This is a functional group. This is another functional group. So you should be able to figure out the structural formula using the condensed or skeletal one.
let's do this one starting from the right side I can notice there's one carbon two three four five six seven and then eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen I want you to figure out this structural formula so carbon one on the right two three four five then six is at the bottom seven is there carbon eight is the peak of the chain or the cycle sorry then there's a carbon nine ten eleven and then twelfth one twelfth one is on the top thirteen is also top there's a double bond between carbon two and three one two three four five six seven then there's eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen there's a double bond here between two and three so I made a double bond you can see on carbon number four there's a double bonded oxygen you can see there's a double bond between carbon five and six between carbon ten and eleven you can put in the other hydrogens like carbon 1 will have three hydrogens carbon 2 will have only one hydrogen carbon 3 will also have only one hydrogen carbon 5 has already four bonds you know one two three four so carbon 5 doesn't need anything carbon 6 has already done with its bond carbon 7 has three hydrogens carbon 11 has one focus on carbon 10 it needs one more hydrogen to complete the four bonds carbon 9 will need two hydrogens carbon 12 and carbon 13 will need three three hydrogens to complete their bonds and this is your longest chain starting from carbon 1 this is your chain structure like this all the methyls and stuff and these are your functional groups this is your functional group oxygen is a functional group here so I hope you guys are able to figure out this skeletal formula